five nights at Candy's. With the Five Nights at Freddy's games seeing success after success, it comes as no surprise that dozens upon dozens of fan-made games would spawn too. While the joy of creation has taken the franchise to a more existential approach, Five Nights at Candy's plays almost as if it's a spin-off series. Not only is it just as terrifying, but it also adds to the FNAF lore while telling its own unique stories. One of the coolest things about Five Nights at Candy's is that Scott Cawthon, the creator of FNAF, has even given the developers props. Oh, that's nice of him. Pokemon Uranium, the game which took the whole world by storm, developing insane hype and unfortunately got hit with the season and desist order shortly after its release. But does it truly live up to the hype? The answer to that question is a resounding yes. From exploring a beautiful region, to the very large number of fan-made Pokemon, to both Mega Evolutions and regular Evolutions of Pokemon that never had one before, and finally amazing music pieces created by M Dash, this game has it all. Sadly, thanks to Nintendo again, there are many bits of the important post-game content that never really made the cut, preventing you from catching certain legendaries in the game, as well as a bit of lag here and there in certain areas. Regardless, this game genuinely does live up to the hype in every single manner, has the best presentation possible for a story's climax stage, and is definitely what I'd call a must-play. Seriously, I need to stop saying that so many times.